This is my Doom Flying Demon tier list. We'll be ranking them from Ultra and Regular Flight Mare, Ultra Flylance, Fly Me Plenty, I'm Too Young to Fly, and I Have No Fly Idea. Let's get started. So the Cacodemon from Doom 64, I Have No Fly Idea, I've Not Played the Game. The Pain Elemental from Doom 64, Never Played It. All right, the Lost Soul from Doom 3, I've never played it. I've played the rest of them, don't worry. I just had to get those out of the way. So, Cacodemon 1 and 2. Now, these guys are the original. They are bulky. They have a decent amount of health points. The chain gun will stagger them back. The pain chance is the game called. And they're just really kind of a nuisance if you're not careful. Their damaging fireball is okay. They're not too bad, but if they crowd you together, you're probably going to have a pretty bad day. All in all, they are a good enemy for what their purpose is. They are a heavy in classic doom sense i guess and they like to just block you in and if you played that factory level there's a room all around and you're in the middle on these trying to fight on these elevators and they're shooting in like that they're rough and if you're on nightmare even worse so where do they fall in this well i have to say these are not the deadliest but they are pretty pretty tough we're going to go with fly me plenty all right, look at the Cacodemon from Doom 2016. These are pretty dang rough. So they have their singular fireball that they do, which is standard, does a lot of damage on Nightmare. They are dark, thick, T-H-I-C-C -C, with the capital C's, and they are big boys. Now, the biggest thing about these guys you have to watch out for is the bite. The bite on Nightmare does 200 damage. 200. And there is no brink of death or low health warning system the same way that Eternal does to catch you there before you die. So, you're in a huge world of pain. Now they do go down to one siege mode shot, which is the instant siege trick is another way to do it. So they, they're not too tanky, although they are like heavy form still yet. And so for that reason, the Kako 2016 goes to Flightmare. It's so powerful. I've actually died on Ultra Nightmare to one when I had my old personal best in Argent Facility destroyed back then. So they definitely have to be at least high up on the list there. Kako Eternal. Ooh. So these guys are a little different. They don't really have the siege mode that they die from. The Destroyer Blade does pretty well against them. Oh, let's see what else is there. The Sticky Bombs and the Frag Grenade in the mouth that 2016 did not have. They do bite. They are aggressive. I feel less threatened by them whenever they're in close quarters, although they are still bad. All of them try to box you in. They try to stop your movement and screw you over. But at least with... 2016 what we don't have is you can meat hook off of them in eternal which helps you out now their fireballs do go in the ones they go in the multiples it really just depends so they do have more variety in their attacks all in all the kako eternal will probably go to flight mare maybe eh. ultra flylance ultra flylance because they're just not as scary as the ones in 2016 and just to sneak up behind you and end your run but they're very deadly they, they are very deadly Lost Soul in 1 and 2. They are... <laughs> They're annoying. Uh, the Lost Soul in Classic is like a mosquito, an angry mosquito just ch -ch 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 nipping at you. Or like a little dog just ch -ch 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 nipping at you. Or a bug ch -ch 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 or a girlfriend. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Any of those things, they nip at you and they nag you, right? So we're going to do Lost Soul. They are pretty fragile not too bad if they do get in hordes they will swarm you and you will have a bad time but thankfully they're not too hard to kill uh the one thing they do have to watch out for if you're using rockets they'll go Rah! and they go flying towards you and that rocket's going to right in your face and you're going to go and you're going to die but i would say the lost soul and classic where should they go they are not ultra flight mare they're not even regular flight mare they're not ultra flylance they are enough to worry about but still I'm too young to fly. I don't even know how old they are, but still yet. They, they have to go there. Now, they're brothers in 2016 of the Lost Souls. These guys, woo, these guys are rough. So the thing about them, they're super fragile. They're basically kamikaze pilots because they just go, ah, and they fly towards you and try to blow you up. And it's at least 100 something damage, 75 damage, something really deadly. And they do come in packs. If you're not watching out for them, they will rise up, rouse, rouse, rabble up, and then just charge you down. They are fragile, but they are damaging, and they're pretty frequently placed. So you have to consider all of that as well. And if you're in the middle of a fight and they're off to the side, like Catinger Sanctum has this sometimes, you better watch out. Situational awareness saves your butt here, as with all of the other times in the Doom games. 
being aware of your surroundings, knowing what's going on without even looking behind you to see that I have a wall with the black thing behind me and all that. Anyway, being aware of your surroundings. These guys, flightmare through and through because they'll screw you up. You'll get in there, you'll fight. And then like in Cadinger Sanctum before the haste arena and what they'll do is you'll be in the fight and then they're going to distract you and then you'll fall off the ledge maybe and then you'll permadeath die. So yeah, definitely those. Lost Soul Eternal. There's not a lot of them in the game. Hugo's talked about their AIs made them like hard to work with, but they are there. And, and it's an important distinction to make between the Lost Souls on the battlefield that are naturally there versus the Lost Souls that come from a Pain Elemental. They are different entities. They, they behave a little bit differently. The Pain Elemental ones get stuck in the ground and just go, ah, and all that stuff. And so you got to look at that as well. They're pretty dangerous. They do die to an Ice Bomb in the Codex. Did you know that? Ice Bomb is their Codex weakness. Why the heck would you ever do that? I do not know. Anyway, at least we get that from Eternal. So in Eternal, the Lost Souls, I'm going to have to give them... They're deadly and dangerous. Fly me plenty. Ooh, they're close to an I'm too young to fly, but we'll go fly me plenty. Plus, they come out of the Pain Elemental and are a big... Ugh. If they only came out of the Pain Elemental, they'd be Ultra Flylance, but they're not. So plenty will be the way we go. All right, Pain Elemental Classic. These guys coming in Doom 2. I'll tell you what, man. They are tanky, and if you thought the Kakos got in your way, these guys are going to do it all the same. They got a lot of health points. Thankfully, the chain gun staggers or pain chances them, falters them in the classic Doom world. It's, it's the equivalent, give or take. And they're really tough. The pain elemental actually led to the last secret being found in the official Doom 2 by Zero Master, which has like millions of views on YouTube. But the thing about these guys, they shoot lost souls. There can be like, what? Somebody correct me in the comments, please. Like 15-ish out on the field at once, 12, 15, whatever. Unless you have a source port to where you adjust it and you can make them infinite, which is crazy, but that's what I used to do. And the whole problem with the Pain Elemental Classic is they shove out about a million lost souls in the fight and they make it, they make it annoying for you to focus on them, but then they have all the other stuff going on in the battle, really making you, really making you watch out. So these guys, I'm... He Gosh, I, I, no, they have to at least go in flight. Like, I wanted to put them in Ultra Fly Lens at first, but then I'm like, no, they're they're too much to worry about, and they cause too much trouble when you get multiples out there. They're not quite Ultra, but they are regular Flightmare. You do have to be careful. Oh, everyone's favorite Pain Elemental in Eternal. These guys are big and tanky. They dodge your Ballista Arbalist shots, especially the Possessed Samarwin. They are rude and mean, vicious. They do not give two Fs about you at all. Or one. They don't give any of them, actually. So the thing about the Pain Elemental and Eternal that blows balls is because they're so huge and they deny your area. They fly around. But the biggest thing is the homing lost soul missiles that fly all around and just home in on you. They do a ton of damage. You do not want to get close to them. They are tanky. They are an absolute priority whenever they get on the field. Like, seriously, you know, arch files are a big priority. Well, when I have a Pain Elemental out, he has to be handled. I actually was playing a Mars Core Master level once uh, by Fada, the, it's the modded one, and this pain elemental in the field would just choo, choo, just keep circling around and homing missile on me, and I'm like, dude, what the heck, how am I dying? I was actually streaming it, Lightning Brick was in the chat, and he's like, hey, the pain elemental, man. So from that day onward, I put so much more focus on them. So with that being said, I do have a fly idea about how dangerous these guys are. They're definitely not here in the weakest spot. They have to be above the regular classic Kako in the Lost Soul Eternal because that's what they throw out, so they can't be down here. Ultra Flylance 2 would be an okay spot for them, but when we compare their contemporaries in Flightmare, these are even worse. None other than Ultra Flightmare for the Pain Elemental in Eternal. Be sure to check out the next tier list video on the screen here and become a member if you want to support the channel. I really do appreciate this support here. My name's Austin. Thank you for watching.